CDM Electronics presents training on Times Microwave Products, Part Four of Four. Tools, um, you know, that blue one over there is one of them. And uh, what it does is it can prep the cable for either the crimp style or the clamp style connectors, and it's got a built-in deburring tool also. Uh, you, you guys are familiar probably with the difference between our crimp and our clamp style connectors. Basically, the same connector, but you remove a different length of jacket for the clamp style connector than you do for the crimp. The crimps require more jacket to be removed. So what these tools have is a little red button on here where you can set the stop for either taking off enough jacket for the clamp style connector or the crimp style connector. That's what that is. And got that built-in deburring tool. Um, and the old tools were like about 100 bucks a piece, just round numbers. So th this is like $300 worth of tools in one $100 tool, which was $102. And also that first cut on the, uh, uh, with, with, with the blade, the way that that works is it's going to give you better VSWR at higher frequencies because it gives you a much more uh, right angle cut, much square cut than you would get with the old tool. You know, the metal tools, when the blades start wearing out, it starts just pushing the insulation around. That gives you these higher VSWR numbers because it starts changing with the impedances to what we call the uh, combo hex neural coupling nuts. In fact, even on the LRSW cable, if you look at, you know, the connector on this one here, um, you know, even though this isn't the regular LMR cable, it's the SW, we went to the combination coupling nut on there. We have the hex and the neural, so you can tighten it with a wrench, or you can tighten it, you know, like you can finger tighten the thing. And then we started going over to uh, the full tri-metal plating instead of silver. You know, I guess looking at the price of silver right now is probably a really good idea. <laughs> you know, $38 a short ounce or whatever. And uh, we got that longer ridge area uh, on the back to make that heat shrink uh, suck, suck down better on the, on the back end. And then uh, you can even see in the picture a little bit. We chamfered that entry hole, so when you push the cable in, uh, it goes in easier. You're not, you know, fumbling and struggling to, to get it to go into the the back end. Now what we did is we came out with a line of uh, no braid trim connectors. Uh, everybody knows that one of the steps in the process of preparing, uh, you know, putting the connector on the, the cable is that braid trimming operation, which not a lot of people are big fans of, and they've told us that over the years. So what we did is we changed some of the connectors around so that you don't have to do that braid trimming anymore. And we got a fine one in here. Yeah. And it was, it was pretty simple. I guess I have to wonder why we didn't do this when we originally came out with these connectors. But basically made the back end of the connector a little bit longer so that when you, you know, put everything together and you bring up the crimp ring, there's no you know, braid left to trim over there. So it's kind of a simple thing to do. So the, the, the problem that I think we're going to have getting these connectors out there into the field is people understanding that they don't have to trim the braid. Because one of the things we told people over the years is, well, when you put the whole connector together and you bring up the crimp ring, one of the things that you want to look for is the braid sticking out from around the crimp ring. So uh, you know you've got it on all the way. You know Now we've got to tell them, well, on these, you don't want to look for that. <laughs> so it's, got, you know, it's, it's going to be a little bit. You know, one of the things that uh, you know, Paul Cassini's been down here and met you guys. But you know, Paul has done a lot of work on developing uh, good, rugged test cables for guys doing testing uh, out at cell sites, or just outdoors in general, where they have to do uh, you know, site testing. And one of the you know, real popular products that he came up with is the uh, Silverline Tough Grip cables. So these are the armored cables that uh, you know, guys love out at the site. You know, what they have to do is they have to hook up a portable analyzer, like you know, if you guys have a site master here or whatever, what, what, what do you guys have out in the shop for testing the, the cables? A bird analyzer. Yeah, Cirrus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, out in the out in the field, they need. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if you got like a bench kind of analyzer or it's a small portable one. But out in the field, you know, they need a portable unit out there, battery operated and all of that. So they'll hook up a, a, the test cable to the analyzer and then hook up the other end to the transmission line. And you know, they're looking for you know any problems on the transmission line. They want to make sure everything is working, or they may have to go out there to you know troubleshoot if there is a problem. And, you know. TDR, you know, see where the problem is in the transmission line. And, you know, the problem that they have is they go out there with their test cable and they got the truck and whatnot and they're just throwing things in the back of the truck. And, you know, test cables are, 
a little sensitive and they can get damaged. So, you know, what Paul did is over the years, you know, he worked with a lot of these, you know, guys out in the field who do the, the testing to see what their problems are, what their needs were. And, you know, we came up with the tough grip cables, and then we came up with the, uh, well, came up with the armored cables, and then he came up with the idea of the, you know, the tough grip interface, so, you know, they got something that they can hold on to that's real rugged. So these are armored, uh, non-torquing, you know, if you try to twist the armor, you can't do it. So the braid's not going to break apart. And the latest product is uh, the one that we call Tough Grip CI, which is changeable interface, because they like the cable, but what they were saying was, well, you know, we go out there to the cell site, and uh, the, the, our Tough Grip cable, it's got the wrong connector on here, you know. And now, you know, I need another cable, maybe I got one, maybe I don't, it gets expensive. So we came out with one where there's changeable interfaces. So this comes as a kit, and with the kit, comes all of the other interfaces. So this is a, uh, I think this is the, the N, okay? But if, you know, they're out there and it's not an N female that they have to connect to, or N male, you know, they can connect an adapter. So this is a, you know, a DIN male. So if it's DIN female coming down, all they have to do is, you know, slap on the adapter and, and they're all set. So now they got, you know, basically it's like four test cables in one. So, uh, you know, if this is a market that you guys wind up working in, like on the carrier side. You know, when you're talking to this, you know, guys who do the site testing, you know, this, this, they love this cable. We, we private label this for Enritsu. You know, they make the portable, one of the portable analyzers, the site master. So we have the same thing for them, except instead of saying tough grip on the, on the grip, uh, you know, it's got their name on it. And then, you know, in their case, it's got, you know, Enritsu and, and all of this too. So we're, we're making a lot of the cables for the guys who make The other thing that they have to check now, a lot of them are checking, is PIM. They're measuring PIM on the, on the cable going up the tower. Well, this is a whole different analyzer, <laughs> and it's a whole different test cable. You can't use these cables for that because they have braids on them, and they have other layers in the shield. And you know what I just said about these different layers causing you know intermod issues. So you, if you put a test cable on there that's got these different metals, you're, you're introducing these intermodulation issues. So you need a, a different kind of test cable. So for that, we got you know this monster over here. It's got a special connector on there. It's put on a special way. It's got a different kind of armor on there. It's you know it's a much bigger you know tougher cable. And uh, it's got a kit also of, of adapters that it comes with as well. So uh, now what we're doing, because this is kind of a new cable and we're trying to learn more about it, there's one price on this. It's $850 for the cable and the kit. And what we'll do is uh, it comes with the adapters. If it fails out in the field within six months, we'll, we'll rebuild it for you twice or we'll, we'll replace it. And the reason we want to do that is we want to learn more about what their problems are out in the field. So not that we're hoping that they fail, but if they fail, we want to know about it. And then we want to try to address whatever that issue is that you know, caused it to fail. Normally what they do is uh, they'll use a corrugated cable for a while because the connectors are you know, really good on the corrugated cable when you build it. So we'll use a corrugated cable as the test cable. But after like one or two times that they use the test cable, they just got to throw them away. I think that, that that's it. They're done. They just toss them. So it gets kind of expensive after a while just to keep, uh, uh, you know, throwing away test cables. And the other problem all the time with a test cable is if your test cable's causing you a problem, you may not know it. So you, uh, you know, you think it's the transmission line, you think it's your analyzer, you think you didn't put your calculations in your analyzer right, and you're out there for hours messing around, and, oh, crap, it was the test cable. You know? So they, they like to eliminate the test cable as the, uh, as the variable for them. So right now, you know, we're uh, building for Enritsu, Rise is using some, and then those other two <coughs> boxes down. For more information about CDM Electronics products and services, Email our sales department at sales at cdmelectronics.com or call toll free 877-386-8200.